Hello students, welcome to the session. Today we are going to see the demonstration for live quiz. So we are going to conduct live quiz on next class. The schedule will be shared in your group. So this one you can treat as a demo how we, we are going to conduct the live quiz. So in this we will have questions, multiple choice questions, objective type questions, true, false or fill in the blank and we will see how it works. So we will have uh, objective type question based on the given topic and then we will have the answers in live chat. The important thing here is that you must be online in the given time to upload the answer. As the questions will appear on the screen, you have to type your answer in the comments. So you keep your hall, tic hall ticket number typed, you keep it ready and paste it in the comment box as soon as we give time for the answer uploading. So let us have a view how it works. So say there will be question 1. So here we have a question which of the following statement is incorrect. The statement 1 is the SI unit of charge is the coulomb. The SI unit of potential difference is the volt. The SI unit of frequency is hertz and the SI unit of temperature is the degree Kelvin, sorry, degree centigrade. So what is the wrong statement here? So you have to think there will be a timer given to you. So based on the question, you may be given 10 seconds, 15 seconds or 20 seconds to post your answer in the comment box. And once this procedure is done, then we will discuss answer in brief. So for example, the SI unit of charge is Coulomb, it is a correct statement, SI unit of potential difference is volt and frequency unit is hertz, but temperature unit is not degree centigrade, it is Kelvin. So the wrong statement is the number 4. So how will you put, put the answer in comment box? You have to write down your roll number, no need of name, roll number question 1 colon or dash and the option number so question 1 colon say 4 if the answer is 4 right similarly say if we have the next question the question 2 which of the following statement is incorrect so we have to read the statements a voltages in a circuits are usually measured with respect to the ground or earth connection if a body develops an excess of electrons, it will have an overall positive charge. An EMF represents the energy introduced into the circuit by a battery or generator. Conventional current is in the opposite direction to flow of electron. So let us discuss one by one the option. This is your think tank while we give the time timer. You have to think yourself. So the timer will be on, you have to think a voltage is the difference. We always have higher potential and lower potential and lower potential we consider as ground. So this statement is correct. And EMF represents the energy introduced into a circuit by battery. It's correct. It's correct. When we apply battery, then only we get electromotive force or electric field or all kind of forces which are required for the flow of electron. Then conventional current, that is the act, actual current of electron is from negative to positive. We have discussed that electrons get generated at negative terminal and they end at 
positive terminal. So this statement is correct. Now second one, if a body develops an excess of electrons, it will have an overall positive charge. The electrons have negative charge on them. If we have excess of electrons, the part will become negative. It will not become positive charge. So this particular second statement is incorrect. So your answer should be your roll number question 2 dash 2, right? Then if we have a next question like which of the following is a correct statement of Ohm's law? While discussing, you can post your answer in this demonstration also. So everyone will get familiarized with how exactly it works. So uh, we have I is equal to V by R or we have V is equal to I by R or I is equal to R by V or R is equal to V I. What should be the correct answer? All of us we discussed Ohm's law many times in many subjects. So within 10 seconds you should be able to answer it. You have to type your roll number or keep it, keep it copied. Copy your roll number and just paste it and after that type Q3 and your answer. So what is the answer? It is I is equal to V by R Ohm's law. So V is equal to IR. You can remember that way also. The next calculate the effective resistance of the following combination. The next session we will have uh, demo, uh, the quiz on resistors and semiconductors. So you have to watch both the uh, both the videos related to resistors and semiconductors. Semiconductor part one, part two, and resistors. One video is there for series and parallel connection. Now, if you see this combination, this these resistors are connected in series. In series, we simply add them, right? So while live session, we are not going to discuss answer before you upload the answer. Once your timer is ended, we can discuss briefly the answer in the session. So once we add all of them, what will be the answer? 49, right? This is about the series. In parallel, you have to use the formula according to the parallel connection. Now in this example, what you, you are supposed to do, you have to use the formula given in the video of register series parallel connection there are examples solved in assignment also you have solved the example and after calculating it you have to post it so you need to have a notebook and pen along with you now what are the benefits for this online quiz first thing this will be preparation part of your the online quiz if we get online examination for mid one this will be part of your preparation second benefit if you go for gate examination or any competitive examination these questions will be there related to semiconductors and the basics of electronics questions will be there so this will be your preparation for that and third benefit for the live session which we are going to have in next session in that you will get attendance for the two sessions so you must be online everyone must be live for the the live quiz right so See you in the next session. Next session we will have theory and weekend we will have the live quiz. Time will be posted in your group. Till then, have a good day.